Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Knocking Over Nax. Last time, we beat Thaddeus, which means we are on the very f penultimate episode of this next series before we move on to Heroic Mode and Black Rock Mountain. So then, who's looking forward to this? I'm looking forward to this. That's also because I know what this boss is like, and that's why I'm looking forward to this, because it's rather ridiculous. So, Nax Ramus is interesting. But this boss is very, very interesting. Sephiron. My massive frost worm awaits. Flesh worm. Since we beat Thaddeus last time, we've finished the contrast construct quarter and we're on to Frost Worm Lair. Where well, the massive frost worm Sephiron lurks. Frost breath! Destroy all enemy minions that aren't frozen. Yeah. All enemy minions that aren't frozen. So, what that means is that we're going to be doing weapons to me. <laughs> we have done a lot of weapons to me, but that's generally because going for the face works quite effectively, and the weapon deck has quite a nice synergy. But there is a plus, however, to this entire thing. Saffron, even. Not Saffron. Not ideal a hand, I have to admit. But I'll keep the blood sale for reasons you will see in a moment. This guy. Frozen. Look at that little gnome. He used to be an interloper like yourself. <laughs> frozen champion permanently frozen adjacent minions are immune to frost breath. Meaning, I can play minions next to him and frost breath won't kill them. For example. Doesn't hurt him. You can, of course, freeze your own minions, but this doesn't necessarily work. Okay, so that's a 1-3 with a death rattle. Not brilliant, have to admit. Not brilliant. I also can't attack with him because he's frozen. Silencing, by the way, is a bad idea. Very bad idea, because you can imagine what happens. It would be nice to play more stuff, but I don't have more stuff to play. They will attack the 210, by the way. Sometimes, not all the time, but they will generally attack the 210 on occasion. Because it's a minion on the board. I can give it Taunt. That is probably not a good idea. Now there's this. But... I have to make space on the board. And I, I can't attack him in the face if there's a Taunt in the way. So I really only had one option there. Shade of Nax. Okay, I'm going to do something I've never actually done before. I'm going to Defender of Argus it. That's now a 310 taunt. And if this, if this fails, I'll lose totally. This is probably a bad idea. No, Kel'Thuzad. Wait, no. No! Wait, he just froze. That means it won't die next turn, because the Frost Lance, I, Ice Lance won't kill it. Oh, thanks, actually. Thank you, that's really quite helpful. Okay. If that's frozen, then we can afford to do something even more... Cr Should we do it again? No, let's Arcanite Reaper and just kill him. Like, don't faff about too much with fancy plays. So we have 20 weapon damage here. It doesn't die because it's not frozen, but he's going to freeze it again, I bet. Yep. Oh, wow! Played that wrong. Hey, I'm not going to complain, though. Okay, so, Blood Sail Raider. Hit him in the face again! Look, Tarogar! He can't break the 3-5 Taunt, and I don't blame him, because I probably couldn't either. I'm tempted... No, that would cause it to break because of the freeze. And I don't actually... Do I even want to give that Taunt? I'll tell you what I can do, though. I can do this. Which will kill the 3-4, unfortunately, because it's out it's the outlier. Uh to the 7-3. No. Right. I have to kill him this turn. Can I kill him this turn? Probably. Let's have a think. Uh Hit him in the face? I could kill him next turn. It's unfortunate because my plan sort of worked and sort of didn't. <laughs> because now Frostbreath will kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> but I have five weapon damage, so unless she puts the taunt down, I'm fine. 
or she could freeze me. That would be very unfine. Do I actually have a way of doing damage that isn't a weapon? Uh, no. That's that's pretty bad, actually. I now have... Okay. Guess I'm waiting it, waiting out a turn. Hoping she doesn't get a taunt so I can kill her. Because I can't put minions down now. Oh, for God's sake. Hang on. Five, six, seven... Yeah, she'll kill me next turn because I have, can't attack her because I'm frozen! Damn it! <laughs> this plan failed! Um... Yeah, if I put a torn down, she I'd lose. <laughs> Piece of advice. Don't give the minion that allows you to play minions taunt. Because you'll end up like that when she just keeps freezing you. <laughs> I would have literally won the game if she hadn't frozen me, so I'm going to try that again. She did also put down an early game taunt, which forced me to waste a weapon, which I didn't like doing. That was annoying. I don't know, part of me thinks she shouldn't have taunt at all because it's just a really nasty thing to have. Both Ram Shield is a lovely minion to have. I'd normally sack it, but in this situation, I think I'm actually just going to keep it. Because this boss wasn't around when Bolf was around. He's actually one of my favourite legendaries because of that effect of his where I can he can take damage for me, which is really nice. I bet he... She, actually. I keep saying he, but it's a she. Sephiron was Managos' old consort. There we are. There's another taunt. Give me a King's Defender. You didn't give me a King's Defender. I'm not playing a Blood Cell Raider without a weapon. I have standards. Uh, Garrosh or the... Yeah. Sephiron does some strange things with spells that I'm not entirely sure of. Okay, I can get rid of that at least. Cool. Right. Obviously that minion will stay on the board forever if she attacks it. But the plan is, I can next turn... I think I... If I had 5 mana I'd do that, but I think what I'll actually do in this context is... Place the raider and armor up, and then hit him for 3. Gives me a 5-3. I imagine he'll probably sack the 3-3 three, three into the 5-3. And this is a Frostbolt again. Oh, this also gives us the opportunity to talk to her. She's not in a good mood. Right. We can Death Spite and South Sea Deckhand to do 6 damage. The chief is to keep the pressure on. Because we don't want to die. Oh no. That is really, really, really bad. Oh, that really, really, really sucks. Okay, right. Here's how we do this. This is how we do it. Loktaro Gar. We then Sludge Belcher. I was going to bolf, but then I realized Sludge Belcher makes more sense. And oh, that means so useful. Oh, God. No! Stop with the taunts! This is incredibly mean. I will report you for being mean. <laughs> I will report you for being mean. You heard me. You heard me. I will report you for being mean. And I mean that. Kill it. Or, even better, ha-ha! <laughs> the Yuga Warmer allows me to strike past your bullshit taunt. It's not actually bullshit, it's just a 3-4, but it's just a bit powerful. Ouch. Ah, uh, damn it, I was hoping you wouldn't kill that. Do I want to upgrade the Ogre Warm Oil? And the answer is heck yeah. Right, let's see how you like this. Luke Tarogar! Yes! That's just what I hoped would happen! <laughs> Ogre Warmore's battle cry actually working really, really nicely. Oh, and it silenced the taunt off of it? Oh, that's amazing. Don't trade into the 3 3. He didn't. I have 9, 10, 11. I have a lot of damage. I can kill him if I hit him, her with the axe. Here's how we do it Defender of Argus, 
Defender of Argus. Hit for five. And then hit for six. No! No! Oh, go warm all! And now they all die. And we have a 3 6 taunt, that means that's gonna die. Shit. That's bad. That's really bad. <laughs> oh no. My plan has completely failed because I was dumb and thought, oh, Ogre Mormol will save me. No, it won't. Oh, I have no taunt minions. I'm just gonna have to keep hitting her in the face until she dies and hope for the best. I think I will actually die. 4, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, I think I'm actually dead. 8, 4. Yeah, I do. I lose. I goddamn lose because of the Ogre War Moil. <laughs> Look, this deck does work. For fuck's sake. Some people. Anyway. So, once again, once again, we will try. We will endeavour to beat Sephiron with a deck that should actually work. But Sephiron is... a little bit... Oh, fuck's sake. Anyway. Uh, we'll throw about these. Mainly because... I don't know. Blood Cell Raid is really good in the early game, especially if we can get a nice weapon. But Blood Cell Raid is only good if we get a good weapon. And we haven't got one yet. Bolster's nice if you can get a, put a t bolster with a sludge belt, which is really nice. That becomes a 5 7 taunt, which is pretty devastating. But that's a battle cry. So, fun fact this deck would synchronize a little bit well with Bran Bronzen. Or Bran Bronzebeard, as anyone who doesn't refer to him like the Titans do call him, because that is extra, extra damage. Now, I don't really want to play the South Sea Deccan when I don't have a weapon out. But at the same time, playing the South Sea Deccan now doesn't make any sense. Because let's face it, I can't hit him anyway. Makes more sense to armor up and wait. 25 to 25, I just need... I need a weapon. I've got a turn 3 weapon, but... Eh. Ideally, I want my King's Defender or a Fiery War Axe. That's a Bolf Ram Shield. Not really either of those things. We're just going to keep armoring up. It's annoying because that taunt really slows us down in the in the early game. It's also annoying because we didn't get... Yeah. I'm going to have to death spite it, which is really annoying. Unless it gives me a fiery war axe now. It doesn't. But it does give us a dread course there. Which is a lovely taunt solution. Wait. First things first. Hit that. Then play the taunt. Now, the Shade of Nax will probably trade into the 3-3, which is fine. Because it... It stops him from killing us. That's bad. Our entire deck is based on weapons. We can't let that live, and simultaneously, we don't want that to die. It's a conundrum. Now, we don't have any taunt minions. That was a bad move on my part, unless I attack him. I'm going to hit him in the face, honestly. There's no solution to that right now. Honestly, there was no other better way to... I should, I should prematurely kill that, actually. I don't want to kill it. I want to hit him in the face for six. Okay, here's the problem. If I kill that, then the death rattle to destroy my weapon won't... No. Then he can't use that later to kill one of my weapons and get bored. I'm going to have to do that. It sucks because I don't want to. On the plus side, it frees up a board space for me. He's got five mana. Don't play a sludge belcher. Don't play a sludge belcher. Don't play a... Um... That may have been worse than a sludge belcher. Okay, fine. What we do now is we... We Sludge Belcher! Now we could double bolster next turn and hit him for seven. Unless he does that, in which case I want to punch him right in the face. I can't because it's a boss and I'm not available to hit him. Anyway. Right, here's what we can do though. I want to play that, but I can't. There's no space on the board for it. So I'm just going to hit them. If one of these minions dies, we can play a Dread Corsair, which is a taunt, then double bolster. Dread Corsair double bolster works really well because it's only four mana. Stable Ghoul will kill the 6-1. It'll kill the 6-1. I can't buff it unless I get a Defender of Argus, and I don't. Right, I'm going to have to kill that. 
On the plus side, though, I can now Dread Corsair double bolster. Which is a horrifying combo, which gives me a seven, seven, two seven seven taunts and a 5-5 five, five weapon. Sephiron is probably dead at this point, because even a Necro Knight can't kill a 7-7 seven, seven taunt. That's a double Necro Knight. Killing one of those would kill the other one. The killing this middle Necro Knight might be nice if I need cards. Actually, no, because look! Chain effect. Yep, you're dead. And then, for the lols, because I want to. I'll take on the lot of ya! That went a lot better. <laughs> I told you, this deck can work. It just needs a bit more time. But yes, that is Sephiron. Oh, Kel'Thuzad's really mad at us. Which is fitting, because you guess who the next boss is. Yep. Big bad old KT himself is the next boss of this wing, but you're going to have to wait till next time to find out just how well we do against him. I'll see you next time.